The 80s was a very special decade. The 80s were terrific. I just wish they'd come back. Everybody won who invested in anything. But now it's, um, it's a whole new ball game. The kind of returns people generated in the 80s are not going to happen in the 90s. And really, if you think about it, the 1980s were the decade of spending. I was out uh, spending it more than I was saving it. The 90s, on the other hand, is turning out to be a savings decade. I make a dollar, I save 25 cents, which I never did before. Before I made a dollar, I spent three. The U.S. has always had a very low savings rate. We think they spend too much money in U.S. On junk, I think. In 20 or 30 or 40 years, depending on when they retire, they are going to have to have enough money to retire on because they're not going to work. I realize that I can't live on Social Security. There's not going to be enough there, enough the style of life that I want. Social Security is not going to be enough, and so they're going to have to have enough invested on their own. My wife has a 401k. When something goes up, they feel better about it. And so what do they do? They buy more of it. And that's exactly the wrong thing to do, because when something goes up, the potential return down the road is lower. And so if something goes down and it looks really dreadful and the world looks like it's about ready to fall apart, step in and buy. Hey guys, welcome to Trader Bubba. It's Sunday and it's Father's Day. I want to take a moment to talk about our dad's investments. Thank you for joining us here at Trader Bubba's. If you love this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can start communicating. My dad recently retired and he's living off a of 401k. But uh, for as many jobs as I've had in my 40 years of living on this earth, I've only ever had one employer offer 401k benefits. Uh, I've been in a couple of unions, but their pension plans were very limited. You had to serve so many years and uh, pensions are becoming, oh, well, they're kind of like dinosaurs right before the meteor hit. They sound good, they look good, but something is coming to destroy them. So I don't think pensions are a reliable source of income for retirement. And because fewer and fewer people are joining unions these days, there's less money going in, while the previous generation are, well, they're retiring. So you've got less money in, more money coming out that's not sustainable. So I don't think pensions are all that reliable when you're looking at your future financial planning, especially if you're younger, uh, in your 20s or even in your 30s. So I just thought it was curious to take a look at how things have changed since just our father's time and how we have to really take control over our own financial freedom, our own uh, retirement benefits. And that's why I wanted to take a brief moment and talk about Vanguard. Now, Vanguard is not a sponsor. They don't give me anything. I've used a number of different uh, platforms for investing from uh, E-Trade. I still use E-Trade just because I like their app, but I actually don't have any investments through them. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I tried Weeble. I know uh, every other financial talking head on YouTube who's better looking than me and younger than me is going to pitch you a Weeble and get you some free stock. Um, I had some trouble with them, but uh, I would use them again if uh, the need would arise. Uh, and Wealthfront. I've got a friend who's made a lot of money on Wealthfront. But uh, I chose Vanguard. Um, I'm not a day trader. My investing is very boring. I buy a stock. I sit on the stock. So I don't need a fancy app. Back to our father's investing. They were able to plan ahead and save and invest through a 401k, which their employer probably matched up to a per certain percentage on, um, and use 401k and maybe a Roth IRA, and they're sitting pretty. Well, for the most part. Younger Americans don't have that option anymore. Fewer and fewer employers are offering it, and our retirement has really come down to us. And I can't stress this enough. You need to invest. And now, in my opinion, and I'm not a financial advisor, just a redneck with a YouTube channel, in my opinion, now is the best time to do it. I'm practicing what I preach. I just bought more of my number one stock pick this last week. Even though it still went down on Friday, I don't care. So, that being said, happy Father's Day. 
get out there, enjoy some time with their dads. And uh, as always, stay safe out there. Well, hi, God, yeah, you done snuck up on me. So I didn't hear you. I was too busy folding this beautiful Trader Bubba merch, which is available in the link below in the description. God, it's so pretty.